Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maudie, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming like a get ready with me, but testing out new makeup because I have lots of new makeup. I got some new foundation, new blush kit, setting spray, lipstick, eyeshadow, lots of fun stuff. And I was like, why not just use it all in one video and film my reaction on what I think about them? So if you guys are interested to see what products I tried out and how I got this look right here, then I suggest you keep on watching. But before I start this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every single time your girl posts. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, so I'm so excited because I purchased kind of a few, um, makeup items and I haven't bought makeup in a while so the first thing we're gonna go in with is some foundation so I just bought this Beauty Creations um, flawless stay foundation medium to full coverage I have seen so many people talk about this foundation so I was like okay let me give it a try finally I'm usually like late to trends but I'm here so I picked up the shade FS 3.5 um, it's kind of hard to shop online, especially with foundations, because you don't know if it's going to match you. So I kind of watched a few reviews and just chose foundations where girls kind of look like my skin tone. So let's just hope this works out. So I'm going to apply it using my Morphe Beauty Sponge. And I'm just going to start off by putting like a little bit onto my finger and then applying it to the face. And then blend it out. And you guys, the foundation has a scent, but it smells so good. It smells like, like a face wash, so it makes your face smell like fresh. Okay, so it looks like I chose literally my perfect skin tone. It matches my neck so good. Oh my god. I'm getting better at this. I used to suck at um, picking the right color foundation. I would always get something that's like way too white or something way too orange. Although my arms are always darker than my face because, you know, I'm not tanning my face. But once you add the bronzer in and everything, it just ties in to your skin color. I haven't really been putting um, foundation on my forehead. I'm kind of just get whatever's left on the sponge and then just dab it on top. Just because my forehead's a little tan, when I go outside and I ever get a tan on my body, I kind of get it on my forehead too. So... I don't want it to look like ashy, so I just put whatever is left over and it looks good. Okay, so, wow. Okay, this t um, this foundation was I think like $12 and the coverage is really freaking good. So it says in the back, it's satin finish, oil free, hydrating, long wear, lightweight formula and has vitamin E. I'll definitely say satin finish. Um, what else is it? Hydrating, yes, it's not super dry because I can tell when a foundation is dry because around my mouth area, it'll look like patchy and it doesn't have that. And the color is amazing. Like I got um, 3.5, I think it's like a neutral shade. It doesn't really have too much of a peach undertone but not too much of a yellow either. It's just perfect. So I'm obsessed. I chose the right color and it, oh, it looks like my skin, but better. I always look for a foundation that has that um, like satin finish because I don't really like too much of a dewy foundation, but I don't really like too much of a matte foundation either. So something right in the middle, satin finish is perfect. And especially for the price too, you guys, I was sleeping on Beauty Creations. I bought some eyelashes and foundation, some setting spray. So excited okay so now moving on to concealer I'm going in with my elf hydrating concealer this one isn't a new product but it's my go-to so I'm in the shade medium peach and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and then using that same morphe beauty sponge blend it out all right so now that I have my concealer on I'm gonna go in and set my under eyes using my Le Mercier transition powder promise we're gonna get some more new items I'm just I don't have any new powder so this is my Le Mercier translucent powder and I'm using my elf um, camo sponge um, I like to use it when it's damp not too wet and not too dry so this is what I use to set under my eyes with my translucent powder
And then I also set like my mouth area and a little on the nose. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Transition Powder in the shade number 10. And I'm using a Morphe MB2 brush to do that. And by this point, I have like foundation all over my hands and then my lips. So I like to take it off with a makeup wipe and then just put some more chapstick on. Just so my lips can stay hydrated by the time I get to my lipstick part. And then I put on my Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. Okay, now for my favorite part to bring my face back to life. Some bronzer. I'm going in with my Benefit Tula bronzer and just using like an angled contour brush. And then I go in with the Morphe M527 brush and kind of just bronze everywhere. Like dust it all over. And then for my nose, I go in with this like flat brush that I got from the Makeup Shack. It doesn't have a name, but it's like a dupe for the NARS one. Just take some bronzer, tap it off. You don't want too much on it. And then just slightly bronze the nose. I don't do too much of a contour. So now for some blush. I am so excited for this palette. So this is the Moon Prism Palette by Lunar Beauty, also known as Manny MUA's brand. When I saw that he was releasing this palette, I was like, okay, it's just another blush kit. But then when he opened it up, I automatically fell in love with this shade right here. I live for like peachy orange blushes. So I was like, this is literally me in a blush kit. So I had to buy it. So I'm going in with the shade Twilight and I'm using a BH Cosmetics number two brush and just packing that on. Also, can we talk about the packaging? Look at how cute this packaging is. I love it. I love when companies put like effort into the packaging too, not just like the product, but both. Because I get to like display it on my makeup case. Like look back there, I have the box. So cute. Okay, so going in with the blush and then also put on the nose. You want to get the little blush moment. I love a blush moment. And then on the chin, just kind of just put it everywhere. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. I will finish up with highlight and um, some brightening powder after. But I want to move on to the eyes. So, star of the show for the eyes is this Artist Couture Diamond Light Finisher. And, girl, I tried Spotlight Glitz the other day and it was so freaking bomb. So for today's video, I'm going to be using Nebula. I'm excited. So, for my eyes, I'm going to just be using like the Dose of Colors and Desi XK Friendcation Palette and also my Soft Glam palette from Anastasia. I kind of just like to do like a neutral look and then have the lid shade just be a bright pop of shimmer. So, I'm gonna start off by going into the Frankation palette and taking the shade Necessary right here using a Morphe M441 blending brush. And that's just going to be applied in the crease. And this shade, I kind of just like to go ham and blend it in all over. Okay, so now going into the Soft Glam palette, I think I want to take some of this Burnt Orange shade using the same Morphe M441 blending brush and just apply that over the necessary shade. Focus on the outer corner and then blend in in circular motions. Okay, so now I'm going in with a Morphe M514 brush and taking the shade Trudel from the Desi X Katie palette, which is this one right here. This palette is literally like my go-to palette and then I just add a different shade in the center all the time. Anyways, just start by packing this on the outer corner to darken it up a little bit and then blend inwards. Okay, and then go back and a little bit of burnt orange in that necessary shade just to bring it back up here. So super easy, just get some neutral shades and blend it out. Focus the darker shadow on the outer corner. So now I'm going into the Artist Couture Nebula um, Diamond Light Finisher. And I just like to put it into my cap. It's very chunky, but once you um, 
apply it on to your finger and rub it on your eyes. It just glides on very nicely. I think uh, Mac Daddy said that they activate with like the oils on your finger. So I'm just going to pick up some of that eyeshadow on my finger and apply it onto the eyes. God, this color is gorgeous. Yeah, so I definitely recommend using your finger for this because if you use a brush, a brush, I feel like it would just fall out on your face. Oh my God. This shadow is so beautiful. And I love like an effortless shimmer look, like not too much of a cut crease, just using your fingers and just making your lids glow <laughs> yeah so don't even have to be too precise just literally just put on your finger and blend it out okay I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that trudeau shade again and then just put some more on the outer corner just a little okay so now that the eye look is pretty much finished I'm gonna go in with some liner and lashes so I have some beauty creation lashes that I purchased I have hush hush Insta Famous and Discreet. I think I'm gonna use um, the style Hush Hush. This one just feel like would complement this eye look very nice. So I will save the other two beauty creation lashes for later. But can I just say these lashes were only $6.99. They're faux mink and look at this, you guys. Look how bomb these lashes look. Oh my gosh. That one was discreet, and then let me show you guys Insta Famous. This one is so cute, especially for like a natural glam look. Oh yes. And then let me show you guys the ones that I'm going to be using, which is Hush Hush. Yes, yeah, so I feel like they're the perfect wispy lash, and they have that volume, but not too much. So these are the ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some liner and put these lashes on. All right, okay, finally put these lashes on. Make sure they're on. Oh yeah, this, I cannot believe how bomb these lashes are, you guys. I know I rave about a lot of lashes, but I've been finding like cheaper and cheaper deals and Beauty Creations, $6.99, faux mink lashes, so bomb. Okay. Okay, so now to smoke out the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into the Frenkation palette, taking a Sigma E65 brush and taking the shade Trudel, and we're just going to line the lower lash line by packing it like so. Pack and then drag a little bit. And then same to the other side. And then I'm gonna go into the soft glam palette and take the shade burnt orange right here using a pencil brush and we're gonna use that shade just to smoke out the trudel shade but before i go in with mascara for my lower lash line i'm gonna go into my dragon beauty uh transformation face palette and just mix the peach and yellow shade using this like equal tools brush and pack that under the eyes to brighten up the face this has been my favorite step of my makeup routine recently. Okay, so I might have put a little too much, so I'm gonna put some blush. Good to go. Now I'm gonna go in with um, Their Real Mascara by Benefit to apply to my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my brows using my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Key to get that fluffy brow is brush upwards with the gel 
to have them like laid up and then brush across. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill Balm Loose Highlight using a Morphe M510 to apply it. Okay, so if you hear some noise in the background, my mom's getting ready, so that's the hair dryer. I don't really want to tell her to turn it off because I'm almost done. Okay, so for the lips, I'm using my Morphe Sweetheart Lip Liner. This is my go-to lip liner. And then for the lipstick, this is a new um, lipstick that I bought. This is the Artist Couture Saucy Gal Lipstick. So now to set the face, I'm using my Beauty Creations Peach Setting Spray. You guys, this setting spray smells like those peach candy rings. So freaking bomb. It makes you want to like eat it. But don't. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. I want to show you guys how this sparkles like with a flashlight. Look at this. Hold on, put the phone. So bomb, oh my god. All right, you guys, so this is the completed makeup look and video of me testing out new products. I am very impressed with all the products that I tried. One, the Beauty Creations Foundation is so freaking bomb, super lightweight, gives you that very pretty satin finish. What else? The Manny Blush Kit, ugh, to die for. Um, the Beauty Creations Lashes, only $6.99, you guys, so freaking bomb. I am like, so overpaying more than like $20 on a lash because that can get expensive. I mean, they are worth it to be honest, but like if you could find $6.99 lashes that look just as good, why not? And what else did I try? Um, oh, the Artist Couture Diamond Finishers, so amazing. I used um, Spotlight Glitz in my last video, um, the breast augmentation one, and I got so many questions on what um, eyeshadow I was using. So yeah, that was the Spotlight Glitz Diamond Finisher. I am obsessed with these diamond finishers because when I have a shimmer lid, um, I want it to be very shimmery and like shimmering all day. And like when you look in the sun, it like glows, you know? So highly recommend those. What else did I try? Oh, the Beauty Creation Setting Spray. So good, smells so good, smells like candy. And also the Artist Couture Lipstick. It's very comfortable to wear. It's not like too matte. And I think it's like a satin finish because super comfortable. Okay, so I gotta hurry up because my house is starting to get ready and everyone's waking up and it's getting loud. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like in the future. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to mine and Angel's channel, which is Mari Bajarian Angel. Link will be down below. Stay blooming, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.